Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Banking Digits. My name is Soikot Maji. Today I will be discussing about MT103 fees. So in this video, I will explain about fees associated with sending or receiving an MT103 message. So let's start. When uh, sending or receiving an MT103 message via the SWIFT network, several fees may be involved. These fees can vary depending on the banks and financial institutions involved, the transaction amount and the countries between which the transfer is occurring. Here is a breakdown of common fees associated with MT103 message. So first is sending bank fees. What are the fees involved here? One is transfer fees and another one is swift fees. Transfer fees is the sending bank usually charges a fee for initiating the international wire transfer. This fee can vary widely depending on the bank's policies and specifics of the transfers such as the amount and destination. Now next is swift fees. Banks often pass on the cost associated with using the SWIFT network. This can include a fixed fee per transaction and or a percentage of the transaction amount. Now uh, let's come to the intermediary bank fees. What are the fees involved here? One is correspondent bank fees and another one is currency conversion fees. So correspondent bank fees, what is that? Uh, for international transfers, intermediary or correspondent banks may be involved in routing the payment. Each intermediary bank can charge a fee for processing the transaction, which is typically deducted from the transfer amount. Now next is currency conversion fees. If the transfer involves a currency exchange, Intermediary banks might charge a fee for converting the funds into the recipient's currency. Now next is receiving bank fees. Here first one is receiving fees. The receiving bank might also charge a fee for processing the incoming international transfer. This fee can either be a fixed amount or a percentage of the received funds. Now next is handling charges. Additional charges may apply for handling and processing the transfer, especially if any special instruction or additional services are required. Now uh, let's understand some additional costs associated with MT103 sweet messages. Uh, one is compliance fees. In some cases, bank may charge fees related to compliance checks such as anti-money laundering and sanction screening. Now next one is urgency fees. If the transfer is marked as urgent, additional fees might be applied for expedited uh, processing. Now uh, let's understand some examples of fee structures. Fixed fee structure. <coughs> Many banks charge a fixed fee for uh, sending an MT103 message which can range from uh, USD 25 to USD 50 depending on the bank and country. Next is percentage based fees. Some bank uh, charge a percentage of transfer amount often between 0.1% and 0.5%. Uh, For large sums, uh, these can become a significant cost. Next one is combination of fixed and percentage fees. A combination of fixed fee plus a percentage of the transaction amount is also common, providing a base fee along with the variable charge, charge depending on the transfer size. Now uh, let's discuss how to minimize these fees. Compare bank fees. Before initiating a transfer, compare the fees charged by different banks to find the most common effective options. Next is uh, use uh, digital payment services. Some digital payment platforms offer lower fees compared to traditional banks. Next one is avoid multiple intermediaries. Where possible, choose a direct transfer route to minimize inter intermediary bank fees. Now next is uh, exchange rates. Be aware of the exchange rates and related fees offered by your bank or 
service provider to avoid excessive currency conversion cost. Understanding these fees and planning accordingly can help in managing the cost associated with sending or receiving MT103 message. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comments box below. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Thank you.